Hi, uh, my name is Raymond Chow and I'm an Applications Engineer with Epson. Uh, we're here to introduce the IMU and launch it at the Sensor Expo. Uh, first of all, this is, a, uh, this is our, our first IMU unit that we're launching this year. And uh, one of the key features we want to highlight is the, uh, the actual size, which is uh, 24 millimeters by 24 millimeters by 10 millimeters. And it's weight of uh, seven grams. Uh, we are the smallest and highest performance in its class IMU. Uh, the power consumption is also 30 milliamps, uh, operating at 3.3 volts. And the key performance metrics here that we're highlighting is the angular random clock, which is at uh, 0.24 degrees per root hour. Uh, essentially giving you an idea of the noise level output, the short-term noise level output of the gyro, and the gyro bias instability of 6 degrees per hour. Uh, basically giving you a, a good idea of the core performance of the gyro. The output, angular output range of uh, plus and minus 300 degrees per second, and uh, the accelerometer output of plus and minus 3G. To give you an idea of the actual size of the unit, physically, is uh, right there. Uh, I should add that uh, essentially this is a module solution with all core Epson technology, including our QMEMS gyro, uh, the onboard uh, signal processing, and the micro is all walk you through the uh, demo software that we have and our uh, early evalu or early development uh, kit uh, which will be available uh, at the end of October. Uh, what we have here is on the screen is essentially a data logger application to allow the customer to evaluate the performance of this product on their in their target application. So it includes a logging function, which you can enable right here, and then it starts uh, logging the data. And what what we have is uh, the gyro output in a graph format on the upper graph, and then the accelerometer output on the lower graph. Um, just to give you an idea, uh, we have uh, the yaw axis output on the blue line, the pitch, which is the green, and you have the roll, which is the red. And the equivalent in the accelerometer is on the lower graph, so that uh, as it stands, you can see that uh, it's measuring 1G on the z-axis, and you know as you change the axis, the 1G one, uh, output is on the separate axis. So you have all three axes, but uh, you know that, that should be fairly straightforward for the users. Yeah, so if you have any information, you need some information, please feel free to contact Epson.